Hello viewers, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be looking at Docker machine, which is a binary used to create uh, Docker machines. Okay, so um, this video uh, and in the next few videos, we'll be looking at Docker machine to create Docker machines. I mean, Docker machine is a command and using that, you're going to deploy a machine with Docker runtime installed. So um, you don't have to do anything, you just run this command. You don't have to provision the machine yourself and uh, it can be, it can work with VirtualBox on your local machine and also uh, Amazon EC2 instance, Azure GCP and so on. So I've got my notes here. So Docker machine, um, I'll just show you how to download Docker machine and install it on your machine. Um, so using Docker machine, what you can do is you can create machines Either it's a virtual machine uh, in your in your host machine, or it can be an instance in AWS, Amazon, or GCP, Azure, VMware, or in DigitalOcean. So basically, it's going to provision you a machine with Docker runtime installed. Okay, and once you've got the machines installed, you can do lots of things like you can SSH into the machine, you can start, stop, restart the machine, you can manage the machine from your single machine. All right, so you just manage multiple Docker machines from a single machine using the Docker machine command. So in this video uh, and in the next two videos, we will be looking at Docker machine. So this video specifically is about just how to install Docker machine or how to get Docker machine installed on your uh, Linux machine. I will also show you how to do it on a Windows machine because I've got a a Windows virtual machine here. And in the next video, we will see how to create docker machines these machines with docker runtime installed and in the following video we will look at how to create um, the docker machines in aws using docker machine and the idea is to gradually introduce you to docker swarm which is um, a group of docker machines working together for container orchestration and uh, how to deploy services how to run group of tasks i mean group of containers um, so on. So when it comes to uh, deploying the Docker Swarm cluster, I'll be using Docker machine to create multiple uh, machines with Docker runtime. So that's that's why I thought of uh, doing this Docker machine videos first before diving into Docker Swarm. Okay, so let's get started. And I've got my machine here. This is my host machine and I'm going to install uh, Docker machine here and if I go to the browser and search for docker or download docker machine so install docker machine so uh, the command I'm looking for is here if you are running on Linux so that's the uh, command I'm going to copy that and paste it here so basically what we are doing is we are downloading uh, the binary to slash temp and then we are setting the execute permission on it and finally we are copying it to use a local bin docker machine. Okay, so I've already downloaded it but it's going to just overwrite it and now if I do which docker machine use a local bin docker machine that's where we copied it okay docker machine version so at the time of recording this video the version is 0.13.0 .0, and you can look at various help options docker machine if you just type docker machine it's going to show you what other commands are available docker machine create inspect ip kill start stop ssh scp upgrade if you want to upgrade a machine um, you can if you want to upgrade the docker runtime in a machine that you manage using docker machine you can use this command upgrade and so on which we will be seeing in the uh, next video okay so that's how you install a uh, docker machine on your linux distribution um, any linux distribution you just follow this process you go to the docker install docker machine documentation from the docker.com and here it is for linux and if you happen to use mac operating system then you can use this command here okay so now let's see how to install docker machine on windows so if you are to use it on windows um what they are recommending is to use git bash which is kind of a bash terminal similar to what you would have in linux 
okay so i want i'm wondering if you can use sigwin for this one but uh, they recommend using git bash so we're going to be downloading git bash installing it and then from the terminal we can then run this command to get docker machine downloaded or installed in our windows machine so i've got my uh, windows virtual machine here let me log into it okay so let's go to uh, the Explorer and download git bash okay so git downloads git for windows git for windows okay so click on download run so now it's downloading uh, the git for windows bit and once it's installed we should be able to use um, the git bash okay right click yes okay so um, next next I'm gonna go with the default options next 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 install okay I'm not, I'm not interested in any of these options I just want to get have the uh, git bash terminal okay let's wait for it to complete and then we should be able to just copy this command to get docker machine installed on our windows machine okay yep installation almost complete and finally we should be able to launch git bash i don't want to view the release notes click next and there you go so that's our uh, bash prompt and hopefully you can see the text here yep if not i can increase the size text select let's change that to 14 apply save okay so basically um i don't think i can copy between the uh, guest and the host so let's launch here install docker machine okay so looking at the documentation we need to copy this command here copy and paste it okay so it's downloading docker machine and 100% done which docker machine okay cool so we have docker machine docker machine version okay on windows we have docker machine version 0 0.16.0 .0, whereas in the linux we had version 0. Uh, 13 i think docker machine version yes 0 0.13.0 .0, and in windows we've got 0 0.16.0 .0, docker compose help sorry docker compose docker compose command not found okay all right so actually i was searching for docker compose we didn't install docker compose we installed docker machine so docker machine help cool so we have everything we need all right so that's uh, the installation bit of docker machine and in the next video we will see how to create our first docker machine and in the successive video we will see how to deploy or how to create a docker machine in your amazon uh, ec2 instance in amazon ec2 instance all right so thank you so much for your time watching this video i will see you all in my next video bye bye